positively charged plate will be called the anode because a stands for addition so plus and automatically negatively charged plate will be called the cathode now since negatively charged ions move towards the positively charged plate they are attracted towards the positively charged plate the positively charged sorry the negative charged ions are called anions now don't get mixed up with anions so a is uh, for addition and addition is positive so anions are positively charged no remember this only for anode just remember for anode a starts uh, it starts with an a addition also starts with an a so it is positive rest you can derive yourself because if positive is positively charged plate is anode the negatively charged plate will be cathode and the negatively charged ions will move towards the positively charged plate so the negatively charged ions will be called the anions and so the positively charged ions will be called cations this is the whole thing so just remember this positively charged plate anode rest you can derive from this only okay. so the reaction which i just wrote na plus plus electron gives na and cl minus 2 gives cl2 plus two electrons okay so this reaction will occur where where there is supply of electrons that means where there is negative charge and negatively charged plate is cathode so this reaction will take place at the cathode and here it is giving away negative charge so there has to be a positively charged plate so that it can take the negative charge negatively charged electrons and positively charged plate is what anode so this reaction takes place at the anode so this is what you have to remember the giving away of electron that is na plus plus electron gives na will take place at the cathode and 2 cl minus giving chlorine gas plus 2 electrons will take place at the anode they ask you this uh, these equations and they will ask you where these take place there might be a question i mean it's very frequently asked that write the equation for electrolysis of molten sodium chloride and uh, write where the two equations take two reactions take place so you write this equation right at cathode write this equation right at anode it may not be chloride always you know in case of sodium it is sodium chloride but in case of aluminum it's aluminum oxide you see whatever is available i mean aluminum oxide is found easily because it's it's very hard to find aluminum chloride in free state so aluminum oxide is found so we have to extract aluminum from this only so we do electrolysis of aluminum oxide for extracting aluminum and it also has the same procedure just the equations will be different i mean the balancing will be different that is al3 plus plus 3 electrons will give al and oxygen 2 minus 
will give O2 plus 2 electrons. Just a minute. This will be 4 electrons. So, this is supplying electrons. So, this will take place at the cathode and where just remember one thing wherever electrons are on the left hand side it means that they are taking electrons so who can provide electrons the negatively charged plate and the negatively charged plate is cathode so this reaction take place at the cathode and similarly this is giving away electrons so the electrons have to be absorbed who will absorb them the positively charged plate and the positively charged plate is the anode so this is the thing. So now we come to, I mean this is the extraction process is over, but this extracted metal might also contain some impurities. So what happens that we don't want this impurities. So we have to do a bit of refining. We have only one method of refining in our syllabus which is electrolytic refining. And it is very similar to that electrolysis. It also has an anode and a cathode. Now let us see what this thing is. Now in this method there is a beaker and there are two plates. There is a battery, this is positive, this is negative, so this is positive, this is negative. So this will be the what? Positive, positively charged plate, addition, anode and this will be the cathode. Now in this, the anode is your impure metal which you have obtained after the extraction and cathode will be a very thin strip of the pure metal. So the negatively charged plate is the pure metal and the positively charged plate is the impure metal and the salt which is known as the electrolyte the solution in which the whole system is dipped is known as the electrolyte that is a metal salt now suppose we are taking an example of copper so the cathode is the pure metal which is copper, this is the impure metal which is copper plus some x, y, z impurities and a metal salt, the electrolyte which is maybe copper sulphate. 